What is going on guys? This is Ben here. Today I am joined with a very awesome person, a very good Brawl Stars player. I am joined by Skyrix. How are you doing, man? Doing pretty good. Thanks for having me on the channel. Not a problem, dude. You and YDE always do crazy stuff, so if you guys want to see some awesome gameplay, pro perspectives on things, definitely check out his YouTube channel and his Twitter. It's going to be in the link in the description below and show him some love because he is really pushing the envelope on the Brawl Stars stuff. So, um, yeah, you pushed 8-bit to 1,250 trophies. Were you the first ever rank 35 8-bit? Um, no, there was a person. He got it to... Well, when... 1250 earlier than me, but I didn't really go for it unless like I got 1k and then I was like, okay, let's just stop But then <laughs> he invited me and he was like, yeah, let's just go for 1200. I was like, okay, let's just do it you're, you're like, yeah, I got 1k. No big deal. I'll just push him the last 250. No big deal We're us and your mortals here are like dude. That's crazy. So even if you were first, it doesn't matter You got him rank 35. That is insane. How was the push up there? It was Pretty good because like Apid he's really strong so it's not really that hard to push him but there were a lot of people who were like sniping us, me and YD, so it was kinda hard but it was not really that difficult in my opinion. In your opinion. Okay. Fair enough. Fair, fair enough. I talked to you earlier, you said you played most of the game modes. What do you think are the best game modes for him? I think the best the absolute best game mode is Siege because like if you place down like if if the enemy team gets a robot and you place down the turret and all of you are in the turret like you will kill the robot so incredibly fast fast and he just does so much damage it's just insane and I think his best game mode is Siege but then after maybe Brawl Ball I think Brawl Ball and Gem Grab are even because he's really good on both modes but I think his best mode is probably definitely Siege for sure. I'll chime in here. Played him in Showdown. He's all right. He's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So for Siege, do you think you know how some of the maps are more enclosed? Because I think we had that really good Siege map where it was more wide open from. If the maps are a little bit more enclosed, do you think he would struggle a little bit more, or do you think he's still going to be one of the best brawlers for Siege? Um, I think he will still be fine, but of course, maps with not a lot of walls are better. But I think he's just so strong with that that's it's it's not really a problem. Gotcha, gotcha. So what would you say is like brawlers that work really well with him or just comps in general that like have really good synergy with him? Okay, so brawlers who can stay in the turret and shoot uh the best brawlers to play with him. So example is like Spike. You can just stay in the turret all the time and shoot and get more damage. Those are the brawlers you wanna aim with. So, um, like a, like, so like a little bit longer ranged ones, kind of? Yeah. Tanks are also pretty good, but they need to go uh, get close to brawlers, so not really the best uh, brawlers to play with, but they are fine if they can stay in the turret. But like a Spike, a Cold, Piper, those are the brawlers who can stay all the time in the turret and have long range and hit people and do more damage. So pretty much it's brawlers that can take advantage of his 30% yeah. damage with super? Yeah. Gotcha. So, speaking of the super, where do you think are like the best placements and best uses for it? Um, or where do you find yourself using it the most? Okay, um, you want to place it like in gem grab. If you play him in gem grab, you're going to play him as a gem carrier. And if you play against a gym, it's really important that you place your turret in front of you so he can't pull you. That's really, really important. That's one case where I use the super. Another case is, for example, if you got your you got your super and you're playing gem grab, you should place it on your lane, um, so you, he can do more damage and you can do more damage. And yeah, that's I think pretty much it. In siege, do you does it just kind of like you just usually maybe throw it down like you said to get rid of that bot, or mm -hmm. just like when yeah. you're trying to control the mid, you just kind of keep it away from best spots like behind walls or something where it's hard to hit. Yeah, behind walls, and if they have a turret, um, a thrower. You should place it a little bit um, more to the side where the thrower is not. Gotcha. Um, so he can't destroy it, but most about, of the time just in the middle so everyone can get in it and do more damage. Yeah, what about for Brawl Ball? Do you just kind of like throw it down in a spot where it's really hard to get to like control an area? Um, mostly just to the side brawler, um, to my side brawler. 
Gotcha, gotcha. So, aside from the super, uh, I want to talk about a little bit of his, about his star powers. Obviously, you've played a lot with his new star power, making the turret increase range. If you obviously it's not out right now, but how do you think mm -hmm. of his new star power? Do you think you would favor that one, or do you think you favor this huge turret range? Okay, um, I think the first star power with the like increased range is really really good. Like, I think they need to nerf it, but the other star power we can where he can just respawn. It's kind of difficult, but I think that the second star power would be better in like gem grab or maybe brawl. But I think in siege it would be better to have it to have the first up. Yeah, because the one downside with the second one is it's only once per game. Uh, I guess yeah. for those of you that don't know, second star power is called one up. It allows him to instantly respawn once per match and. I don't know, it's obviously we'll have to see how it works more, but it's very interesting to say the least. But right here, I just heard you say, you think this turret range needs to get nerfed? Do you think it's too big? Yeah, it's way, way too big because, like, if you don't have his star power, it's really small. And if you have his star power, like, everyone can just fit in and do more damage. I think it's way too strong. Gotcha. So overall, what are some just like general tips that you noticed or things that work well with like just how you're playing 8-bit? Because I know he's still a very new brawler and people are still trying to learn him, but what are the best practices of playing with him that you figured out over this big push with him? So when I played him in gem grab, like it was when they had a Terra or a Jean, it was really hard to get um, Ryan get, how do I say that? Like get out of the way or avoid and all that stuff yeah because like you're so uh, slow that Jean can grab you like most of the time and also Terra she can just walk up to you and super you because you're so slow and you can't get away so it's really really important that you keep your range of those brawlers because if a primo or a tank is just close up to you you are so small you uh, you're so slow you can't get away and he'll probably kill you so um, I think I said it earlier, but a good way to counter Gene is just place turret in front of you, so he can not pull you. Because of course you're the gem carrier, and if you get pulled, it's pretty a big rip. And yeah, I think just keep your range. And at range, you don't really want to auto aim. Like if someone is up to, uh, clo really close, probably use just auto aim. But at range, don't or use auto aim. I think. Basically, keep your distance and try to work around that slowness as much as possible is what you're saying here yeah yeah gotcha so what are some brawlers that i would say 8-bit like is absolutely super good against tanks and bb pam brawlers like where well, brawlers with not really a long range and where he can just easily keep ray and um, keep keep them at bay Gotcha. What brawlers do you say like he kind of has a tough time against or difficult to deal with? I know you already said two, you said Gene and Tara, but is there any others? Yeah, Piper, because it's just happened to me so much. I'm so slow and Piper just hits all three shots and I'm just gonna die and can't do anything about it. And it's just so frustrating. Yeah, the snappy sniper dude coming at you. <laughs> You're like a sitting duck, right? <laughs> Because oh, it's so slow and you can't get away. Yeah. So you also said Brock. Um, yeah. Brock. Is the other another one? How is uh is Colt? Do you kind of do you feel like you can kind of outduel a Colt usually, or is he kind of just like annoying? Mm, I don't think he's really annoying. I think he's kind of fine because if if he has his super, he can be dangerous. But I don't think so. Gotcha. Now. Got to talk about this. How how is uh, I, I saw this a lot when he first came out. People were like, "Oh, Mortis is gonna destroy him because he's so slow." How do you feel about facing Mortis? Do you think it's kind of the opposite, or do you think Mortis is a viable option versus him? Mm, I think if Apit is in his turret, he can like two shot Mortis, Shelly, BB. No, not BB. I think Mortis, Shelly, and Jean. But he can like dash around. But I think. Hey, he has just so much damage, he's just gonna melt him. If you place your turret, like, there's mostly gonna be a brawler next to you, so if Mortis is gonna go for you, he, he's gonna get melted by the other brawler also. 
How do you feel about 8-Bit in the meta? Do you think he's too strong, too weak, needs a buff, needs a nerf? And what ways would you go about nerfing him or buffing him? Okay, I think he's not really that game-breaking like Leon or Rosa when they were, were, were released. But he is really OP and I think they need to nerf his damage and the star power because it's just way too big. He does just, just so much damage, it's just insane. Do you think it's his base damage, or do you think it's like... Because uh, there's probably two ways that they could go about it. It's like nerf his base damage, or nerf like his turret boost damage and maybe range too, but do you think it's his base damage or turret damage? I think it would be uh, base damage, but they could give him give him free small... Like, they could give him a damage nerf, a small turret nerf where the... it's I think it's 30% they could go like with 25 or 20 and I think a range nerf of his tower because it's just way too big. He <laughs> covers like almost like a whole full, full side of the map. It's <laughs> crazy dude. How do you how do you like the band-aid nerf? I want this from a pro's perspective. He really, really hit it on extremely like he went from she went from being absolutely broken to I think I think even her first star power is even better now. So she's kind of back to how she was, where she's still annoying, but definitely not as yeah. dominant as she once was. So uh, I guess I just want to ask, because it's kind of was polarizing at the time. What do you think of the trophy changes? Like before, uh, well, especially now, like we have ranks now to grind for that. Obviously, you and YDE are pushing those like crazy. Um, do you like the old trophy system or do you like the new one better where it's like easier to push and with these ranks and everything? Yeah, I like the new one because when they first released it, there were only 20 ranks. So everyone they got to like 20, rank 20, and it was not really a competition. But now they added more ranks, so I think it's kind of balanced. I mean, rank 35 is really hard to get because what I think I didn't mention is matchmaking. It's just when I got leading to 1.5k, it was like 20 minute matchmaking, but he is really, really. It's like half of the time, it's like 10 minutes or even when I played yesterday it was like 15 minutes and um, at like 4 a.m. it was like 15 minutes gotcha. and matchmaking really like it's really really hard. So you pretty much would like the new matchmaking because of like there's more player base up there higher in trophies so it yeah. al allows you to play more pretty much and push faster and because yeah. of the ranks and whatnot. Yeah so now the ranks are like something you want to achieve and not really everyone can achieve so I think it's really gotcha so I guess my last question here is uh we know you have pushed Leon to 1500 already uh, we know you have done you already beat uh, boss fight you've pushed a ton of yeah. brawlers super high up we know you probably one of your goals is to get every brawler to rank 35 at some point do you have any other crazy goals to do in brawl stars me and YD we're not sure about this because it's really going to be hard, but we wanted to push like a brawler to like 2k. I think it's because when we got 1.5k, we only could play Siege, but now we can play like every game mode. So I think it's possible, but we are not sure. Gotcha. Well, hey, it's out there. You heard you guys. They might. Just to even say them here, might. <laughs> and you can actually believe it because they have pushed 1500 before. So. $2,000 might come soon, but uh, any final thoughts on 8-Bit? Anything else you'd like to share? No, I think everything what I said was no, no. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, you guys are crazy. That's all I can say. Definitely go check out Skyrix on his YouTube channel. Post crazy stuff all the time and on his Twitter. Well, you need to start posting more on YouTube, man. I tell you this every time. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, definitely check out his stuff. Once again, you guys are crazy. Thank you so much for joining the channel, taking the time out of your day to be here. It's really, really awesome. And I'm sure everyone appreciates it, showing that high level gameplay and whatnot. So thank you, man. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me. Not an issue. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely leave a like if you guys enjoyed it. Check them out, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.